celebrity astronumerologist. And boy, are we ramping up the energy this month. We're in a four year, as you know, 2011 equals four. And in October, the 10th month of the year, we are in a five universal month. So we have the numbers five juxtaposed against the number four, and then the 10th month as well. What does that mean? Well, first of all, the numbers five and four are in conflict with each other. They're very, very different. Just look at the number four. It represents a square, grounding, manifesting, and it is a very stable number. So if you have a four in your blueprint, it means you are set in your ways, you love your home, because it represents architecture, it represents grounding, work, you work hard. Uh, the number five is faces, first of all, left and right, it sits on a pivot point, and so it's very flexible, loves freedom, adventure, and risk, and may dissipate its energy. Whereas the four knows how to focus and plan and have order, the five is about let's do multitasking, let's do many things at once and, may, and, and maybe not complete them. So we have these two numbers juxtaposed and that means the inner conflict, the conflict uh, between certain ideas will intensify this month. So how do we see this manifest? Well, here's how. The grounding of the four represents the roots coming through the earth, it literally represents the earth and ground. And the five represents the flowering of the idea. So we can bring the two numbers together by actually manifesting our idea and creating something of value. So look at Wall Street, look at the protests. There are people coming from around the country and you know, actually in other cities now as well, but that, that, that uh, movement is, is growing rapidly. And it literally came from nowhere. It came from the unseen, from the ground, and came up and is now flowering into something quite extraordinary. And I think that movement is going to affect the election um, and the whole process. And look at the election. Look at how there's no Republican front runner. Things seem in flux. We didn't know who was running up, up until a few days ago. And, you know, everything is up in the air. Of course, that is part of the big shift that's happening. And finally, there's one other number, and that is the number 10 for the 10th month. 10 is instant manifestation. It is represented by the 1 and the 0. And the whole universe is made up of either straight lines or curves. And computer code is 1s and zeros. Everything reduces to that God frequency of lines and circles. So that is why it's called the number of love and light and the instant manifestation number. So we have an incredible opportunity this, this month to manifest what we're here to do. Why are you here? Really put it into action. You know, five is about action. Ten, one is about action. Four is about, you know, literal physical manifestation. So what a great opportunity to get your life moving before the big shift happens in 2012. So it really is in many ways a wake-up call. That is what we're seeing in movements and in other events. Uh, people really starting to take notice, paying attention, um, you know, coming out of their little world, their shell, and, and looking around and seeing well, what is it I really believe, what is it I really want to do with my life. So I hope you have a good month. I know you will. It's an exciting time. And uh, don't forget to go to my website, tanyagabrielle.com, because I write about current events a lot, uh, all the courtroom dramas going on, uh, people in the news. You're going to love what numerology and astro-numerology reveals about people and events in the news. And I will see you next month on the November 2011 forecast. See you then.